Most likely, all of these saboteurs represented a helpful way of dealing with specific challenges that we had, especially during our childhood. But today, they tend to hijack us, to hijack our lives and to limit our potential. They have gone beyond their original strength to becoming something that actually hinders our performance and our well-being. At times, they might even help increase a little bit of our performance, but they will always be robbing us of our overall sense of happiness. Each of these saboteurs tells us a series of lies to justify their own existence still today. After all, they kind of also want to survive. So for example, the hyperachiever is very likely to tell you, well, life is all about achieving and producing results, or that feelings are just a distraction, they don't help with anything. What the research tells us, however, is that actually they deliver exactly the opposite result of their promise. So whereas the hyperachiever promises performance and achievement will bring us a sense of respect and self-validation, in reality, hyperachievers tend to discount their own achievements and quickly move on to search a next one. And so hyperachievers are never happy. We never get to celebrate the results we achieve. In the end, hyperachievers tend to be so focused on external success that they become workaholics and often lose sight and lose touch of their deeper emotional and relationship needs, thus never really getting that sense of self-validation and self-love we were looking for in the beginning. And I know it. I'm one of those hyperachievers. Doing the test myself confirmed what my top accomplice saboteurs were. And reading through the detailed description that they actually offer on their website has helped me better understand how each saboteur might work, how they affect our lives, but also helped me to start reflecting on how we can better deal with each of them. Starting, for example, by just being able to label them while dissociating from them when they show up. So if my saboteur, one of my saboteurs comes up, I can say, hey, here goes the hyperachiever again. So if you're curious what saboteurs, in addition to the judge, we all have the judge. Actually, we all have these nine saboteurs. But if you're curious about which of the accomplished saboteurs might be stronger in you aside from the judge, I would really like to invite you to go online and do their free test to find out which one seems to be more present in your life right now. Naming your saboteurs is a very powerful first step to start keeping them in check and claiming back control to your life, claiming back more power to stay in what they call the sage mode, the sage mind, the one that will never judge us but instead we'll just use blameless discernment and we'll always focus on finding the gift and opportunity that we can bring out of every situation. So my challenge to you is, can you find out what your saboteurs are and start improving a little bit your own mental fitness? If you are curious about how better to handle your saboteurs, you can always also book a discovery call with me.